In a society driven by uncertainty, it is hard not to panic or worry. It is hard not to fear what happens next. But we can stand on the word of God, be still, and trust his promises to always watch over us. God watches over you. He is always with you, even until the end of time, Matthew 28, verse 20. When situations and trials arise, we find it hard to be still. To be still means to stop striving, stop fighting, and relax. It does not mean to give up and sit down doing nothing. But to be still as believers is to release control and surrender all your worries, fears, and anxiety to God, knowing He is able to do all things. Psalm 46 verse 10 says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Let us be still and recognize who God is. There is none like him, and he will be exalted among all nations and on earth. To be still means to give up what we have control over and depend wholly on God. To be still is not to panic or worry when we are faced with challenges. It is to let go and give God control and know that he will make sure his name is glorified among the nations of the earth. Sometimes we put ourselves up to defend what life brings our way, even when we know it is beyond us. We try to do it on our own. When God commands us to be still and know that he is God, he is commanding us to release control of the situation to his sovereignty. He does not want us to worry or fear. Being still is not always easy especially when we think of that overwhelming situation we just get so tense. That is why the Bible says to know that he is God. Those who know their God shall be strong and shall stand firm and do exploits. Be still and know that God watches over us always. Whatever you are doing, whoever you are, God is watching over you. That should be your daily assurance. Being looked after by God, he knows every detail of you, everything you may be going through. He is El Roi. He sees all you are going through and will not leave you stranded. He sees even the tiniest detail about you, that thing you are struggling with. He knows. God is watching over you. He is your shade at your right hand. Psalm 121 verse 5 to 8 says, The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore. The promise of God to watch over us extends from day to day to eternity. He is protecting us at all times. He never sleeps or slumbers. He never gets distracted. He will not let the sun or the moon harm you. He is right beside you watching over you and your affairs. To be still when the storms of life arise is not easy. But knowing who God is makes it easy for us. The disciples really did not know who was with them on the boat, or else they would not have panicked. When you know your God, storms should not scare you. Mark 4 verse 39 to 40 says, He got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down, and it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? Jesus had expected his disciples to be still, knowing that he was there. They had seen him perform several miracles, and he expected them to know him and what he can do. But they woke him up, saying, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? Most people are guilty of this same thing the disciples did. We have seen God do wonders for us and people around us. But when we are faced with storms, we panic. We fear, and we say all sorts of things to God. Why are you afraid of those challenges? Why are you afraid of that storm? Don't you have faith? Matthew 17 verse 20 says, He replied, because you have so little faith. Truly, I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. With faith, nothing is impossible for us to do as children of God. No storm should drown us. We are supposed to look at the storm and command it to be still by the power of Jesus. But we limit ourselves by being afraid of situations and letting them swallow us up. As believers, when we are faced with challenges, we should know that God is still God and can never change what he promises. 
He always fulfills. He is always with us, and He will not let that storm drown us. He is watching over you day and night, forever. Being still when we are faced with challenges shows that we know our God and believe in Him. Many people claim to know God without truly knowing Him. To know God is to trust Him in all, in all circumstances. And without faith, it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists and that He rewards those who earnestly seek Him. Hebrews 11 verse 6 When you go to God, you must believe that He exists. How do we trust in Him if we don't believe He exists and is always with us? To know God is to live according to His word and purpose, to consciously live in obedience to Him, giving our will for His, because He knows what's best for us. Knowing God is believing in Him, knowing He can do all things, because it is only when you believe that you can receive. Romans 10 verse 9 to 10 says, If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. As scripture says, anyone who believes in him will never be put to shame. You can never be put to shame by believing in God. He has a great plan for you. His plans for you are for good and not evil, to bring you to an expected end. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. What are the benefits of being still in God, knowing that he remains God and cannot change? Jesus, who calmed the storm thousands of years ago, is still the same. He is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He never changes. Malachi 3 verse 6 says, For I am the Lord, I do not change. Therefore you, O sons of Jacob, are not consumed. Yes, God has not changed, and that is why we are not consumed. Being still when faced with challenges is important. We will be looking at some of its benefits. 1. When we are still, we experience a sense of inner peace and calmness. Stillness brings greater peace and calmness. When you are still, you will experience a feeling of peace. That's why you hear some people say there is still peace in chaos, and you wonder how they can be at rest with all that is going on. This peace does not mean a place where there are no troubles or challenges. It means to be in all these things and still be calm. Jesus was on the boat with the disciples when the storm arose, but he was sleeping even in the midst of the heavy storm. He was experiencing peace, so being still increases peace. Just imagine being still when the whole world looks like it is falling on your head and you are still calm and peaceful. Even your enemy, the devil, will flee. He can't dwell where there is peace because he came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He knows the giver of peace is present, and he can remain there. Wherever there is peace, God is present. He is the Prince of Peace. He brings calmness and peace that surpasses all understanding. So when you are faced with challenges and you remain calm and peaceful, it is because God is with you. And if God is with you, you can be rest assured that you are covered. Two. Being still brings clarity. When you are still, your mind becomes clear and unbothered. Allowing your mind to be still helps you find mental clarity. The only way to find clarity is by being still. You cannot be troubled and disturbed at heart and hear what God wants you to do. Clarity gives you the ability to see beyond your circumstances and see what awaits you. Clarity gives you the ability to know that the situation does not define you. God might speak to you on what to do. You cannot hear God with a troubled heart. When you are troubled, the voice of God won't be clear to you. When faced with challenges, we all want answers. One of the best things to do is to listen to the voice of God and know His will for that issue. That means slowing down and silencing our heart for God to guide and lead us. When you are still, God gives you clarity for your situation. He gives you answers and solutions. It is in stillness that he shows you how to go about that situation. 3. In stillness we grow spiritually. When you are still, you will know your God more. Just as the scriptures say, Be still and know that I am God. To know is to recognize and understand who he is, because by being still we let go and depend on him. Being still gives us communion and fellowship with God. He draws us closer to God and his will for us, connects us to a higher power, 
and makes us realize that there is a great God who can do all things for us and increase our faith in Him. In stillness, we find greater understanding of who God is to us, and we stand firm to overcome the challenges that arise daily. Stillness draws us nearer to God. God is always watching over you. Be still and know that He is God. He has created the heavens and the earth in His power. He is the omniscient, all-knowing, the omnipotent, all-powerful, and the omnipresent present in all places at one time. He never sleeps nor slumbers. He's always awake to guard and protect us. We just need to know Him, know who He is and what He can do. We just need to know that nothing is impossible for Him, no situation He can't handle. We need to know the truth of His Word and have a greater and deeper knowledge of God it comes from listening to Him speak through His Word, from where He reveals Himself to us. The Word of God opens us to His revelations. In it we see the truth and know that we are redeemed to live above all things. In it we see the miracles He has done in the past and know that our case is nothing compared to what He can do. We find solace and comfort in the Word. In the scripture, we know what he loves and hates and walk accordingly. His commandments should be our delight always, and he will watch over us always. No matter what is happening around you, always know that God is your refuge and strength. He is your fortress. The righteous run to him, and they are saved. He will always be with you, watching over you safe in the assurance that he is God. We can wait on him even amidst chaos. He is still on the throne. Be still and wait patiently for the Lord. Psalm 37 verse 7. Keep pushing because those who wait on the Lord shall not be shaken. They shall not be moved. Blessings follow those who wait on God. To wait on God is to hope, anticipate, and trust in Him. Isaiah 40 verse 31 says, But those who wait for the Lord who expect, look for, and hope in Him shall change and renew their strength and power. They shall lift their wings and mount up close to God as eagles mount up to the sun. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint or become tired. When we wait on him, he will draw us closer to himself. We will run and not be weary. We will not get tired when we walk and not faint when we are tired. The phrase be still and know that I am God calls us to reflect. It reminds us that God is still in control and watching over us no matter what happens in our lives. We can take a moment to be thankful for what God has done. If only we can sit and reflect, we will see He has really done us well. And remember that our trials are part of God's plan for us. Brothers and sisters, let us pray. Our dear gracious Father, we bless your name. Be exalted, O Lord, for the wonderful things you have done for us. Thank you for all the great things around us. Thank you for your mighty hand that has safeguarded us. Thank you for your love that endures forever. Thank you for your mercies that are new every morning. Thank you for your blessings upon us. Thank you for the privilege of accessing you. Dear Lord, it is by your mercies we are not consumed. We give you all praise and adoration. You alone deserve it, righteous God. We return all honor to you, Lord. We ask, Lord, in your loving kindness that you will help our hearts and minds be still when we are faced with trouble. Help us to put our hearts at rest. Help us to rest in your word of assurance that you are always with us, watching over us. Lord, help us not to worry and be anxious about anything, but by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, help us bring our requests to you so that you will grant us the peace that surpasses all understanding, the peace that the world can't give. The peace that makes no sense. Help us to be at peace in our minds, souls, and bodies. Give us a calm spirit to remain still in all situations. In agreement, we pray for those who are passing through one challenge or another and whose hearts are worried and disturbed. We ask, Lord, that you give them a calm spirit. Give them peace and stillness in that situation. Dear God, help us to know you more. Help us to know you in spirit and in truth because it is in knowing you that we can find rest. Open our eyes to understand your truth. We want to have a better understanding of you. Help us to dwell in you continually. Give us wisdom to have the knowledge of you that you will reveal more of your insight to us. We pray for your clarity in whatever any of us may be going through. 
Show us the way out of this situation. Show us what you want us to do. Show us why you want us to be. Give us clarity in our confusion. When we are confused about what to do, show us what's best for us. Teach us what you want us to learn. Lord, direct and guide us to the path you want us to walk in. And if we have been walking outside your will, we ask for alignment with your will. Be align us with purpose. We pray for your clarity in whatever any of us may be going through. Show us the way out of this situation. Show us what you want us to do. Show us why you want us to be. Give us clarity in our confusion. When we are confused about what to do, show us what's best for us. Teach us what you want us to learn. Lord, direct and guide us to the path you want us to walk in. And if we have been walking outside your will, we ask for alignment with your will. Be align us with purpose. Father, we pray for strength and courage to remain still. Renew our strength and grant us the courage not to fear when faced with challenges. Give us strength, Lord, when we are weak. We cannot stand strong on our own. You promise never to leave us stranded, so we rest in the assurance of your word that you will always be there for us at all times. Father, we ask that you continue to watch over us in all we do. Please, Lord, watch over our lives, our families, our businesses, our jobs and careers. Protect us and cover us with your mighty hand. Protect our lives and families from the eyes of the evil ones. May the enemy never get access to our lives again. May the sun not smite us by day and the moon by night as we abide under your shadow. We cover our lives with the precious blood of Jesus. Dear Lord, we ask that you give us solutions to every trouble. May we be blessed in all that we do. May we find ease and answers to all our heart's cries. You said we should call on you, and you will show us mighty things that we know nothing about. So we call on you to take full charge and continually watch over us. Take control over all of our affairs. Thank you, Lord, for this is our confidence in you. That when we pray, you always hear and answer. We ask all these in the name of Jesus Christ. We have prayed. Amen and amen. Please comment amen. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.